All right, guys, out here with another video at the junkyard. Get myself a, a handbrake for my car, for the drift car. And uh, yeah, we'll see what else we can find. The reason why we uh, pulled it is uh, because it says it runs and drives with uh, low ass kilometers. Bro, that's like unheard of. My motor on my car has 483. That's an extra. Supposedly speed. more. <laughs> Oh god. That was oh, wild. Oh, that was dude. wild. <laughs> it's, it's crazy what you find in junkyards, man. Oh, that e-brake though. Uh, do we steal this e-brake or we steal the other e-brake? Decisions, decisions. A few moments later. Alright, well, we're probably gonna take up this guy. It seems pretty good, it's accessible, and it's got the dual lines that go each to each caliper, so we should be able to get it mocked up for his uh, 430. Meanwhile, the joys of working on RBs are the fucking shit. I can't even fit, so Mans is over here with his fucking ninja hands. Seeing your skinny arms. <laughs> No, nah, trying to get all of these intake bolts is super hard. Like, I was able to get these ones cracked, these ones cracked, but Mans is over here fucking elbows deep, literally, trying to get these things cracked. I got it. Woo! Got three out. Don't oh, need nine more. Because we're getting rid of this for a single, like an intake plenum that goes this way. Because um, currently the RB runs the stupid intercooling piping around there. And uh, yeah, we're also going to be throwing in some bigger injectors because it runs into a little bit of fuel cut. We got all the bolts out so hopefully now we can try getting this out okay first of all my dumbass i'll have to make sure we all got some parts out here <clears throat> it's kind of a little oh bit of a bitch i think we're hitting this so yeah just let me set up the camera for you guys and uh, we'll get this up Eh? Just a little bit there, bud. Good. Damn! Now it's time for the new intake, so... Got some little shit to do. But... Damn! Well, while he textures his paint, I'm gonna uh, install some new taillights on the 430. Horn side in. That looks a lot better. Let's do the other side now. Well, the 
the intake was almost done. And then I broke a fucking bolt. But we got it. We got it. All right, guys. So we've been busy over the last couple days here. I mean, we got quite a bit done that we couldn't quite film. There's kind of some more boring content. So first off, to start off, I painted the cage, painted the back, painted the same color as my bash bar up front. I still just need to paint the inner doors, the trunk, and the back. But yeah, she's painted. She's good to go. Next up, installing a handbrake on this thing. So yeah, uh, we'll, we'll jump into that. But just to catch you up on the skyline, we removed the intake, painted this bay. So yeah, we got a lot, a, quite a bit of painting done, you know, making things look a little pretty. So nice. we got that intake off. We got the new intake all, all fitted up and painted. So yeah, that should be ready to install as well. So yeah, let's jump into throwing these parts on. So we're just relocating the fuse box, you know, kind of cleaning up the area where the intake's going to come. And uh, we're going to line it up. All right, so our plan is we're just going to cut like right here. So we have a nice little elbow, hose to hose. And then we're just going to do the same thing on like over here. And then we're just going to replace this hardline tubing with some um, coolant tubing. And then uh, tuck it. And uh, yeah, so then we should have no issues putting the intake on. All right. Hopefully. <laughs> this hose right here, so this piece that runs here on the RB for the coolant, you just take this, it goes all over here. You take it, you trim it up into here. You plumb it there. Um, on the back side, underneath, there's another hose here. So this one will always run up into here. And other than that, you got your couple sensors up front. And... Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to lengthen these two wires by like maybe, I don't know, a couple inches. Um, and then the rest, we're just gonna all just throw in all the vacuums up there. All right, well, sorry for the fucking video being all over the place, but this is originally what we were trying to do is get this and then have this left so we can do that. But in the middle of this, I uh, fucked up my hand. Yeah, I had to slip up, so uh, here we are like five hours later. <laughs> and uh, so let's get this intake on so it's not a failed day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, fuck it hurts, man. The sawzall blade, like... He, okay, so like... Shit's went like that deep in a man's hand. Uh, I don't know how he didn't hit a tendon or anything crazy. I don't know. You just got lucky to draw, I guess. But tried to go get stitches, so don't anyone gets mad at me, man. I tried. You tried. No one, no one <laughs> would stitch them up. So like, you know, we did it ourselves. Some bush mechanics first aid. <coughs> <coughs> we got them patched up, so let's uh, let's get her going. Fuck yeah, man. Can't you can't complain. All right, so we got the cooling pipe cut. I uh, just got to clean some burrs off. So yeah, this will just. This 90 will go right in like there. We'll probably point it downwards. We'll run some housing back under so it stays out the way of the intake. This will go back in here. And then we'll just uh, run some housing from this back into there. And then uh, that should solve our intake issue with it hitting. Hey! And guys. Uh, Finally got it on. It's on, the, it's on the side of the motor. Now I just gotta bolt up, hook up all the lines, figure out where everything's gonna go. Woo! Pushing I down. love it. It looks nice. Yeah. Fuck. Once everything's all back together, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. Way better than all that ugly shit that used to go over top of the motor and <laughs> shit. Right? Why didn't it just come like this? <laughs> Save us all some time. All right, so just cut up two of these clips that we need to extend in the engine base. So right now, man's is just working on stripping these wires down. So these wires actually go to um, part of the idle control valve system. 
Um, no clue exactly fully what the sensors do. Um, I'll look them up. But, uh, yeah, so we got to extend these just a little bit. And then, um, yeah, we should be good to go. We moved this pipe around the other way. It's going to be ugly for now, but I'm going to have it run through the top and somewhere into the intake. So uh, we'll come out over in this area and I'll find a way to map it in. Um, but everything for the most part should be good to go. <laughs> yeah, so right now we're just going to leave the wires at roughly this length because uh, I don't really care. We're just going to get the car set up to be on the track and we'll deal with all of the cleaning everything up, making it all pretty in the winter time. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to get to wiring up these wires back up and make the harness longer, make sure it works, and then throw that off. So those are all nice and extended. Um, so yeah, those should... Sorry, my fingers are in the way. <laughs> Gimmed hand over here. But yeah, these should be more than enough room to make that work. Uh, everything's done up there. We're just doing the fuel rail right now. Bending some tabs to make it work. But yeah, it's almost ready. All right, well, everything is done. All the injectors are in, seated. Um, wires are extended for the most part that we know of. Everything's been changed, so now it's just figuring it all out. Fun. All right. It's looking nice. I love it. Oh, yeah. So sick. So now we're just getting this bolted up again just to kind of route everything and figure out where the hell everything's gonna go what everything's gonna look like kind of start figuring out a game plan but as far as i'm concerned we got like two things as our concern yeah and it should much. be running not much yeah All right, so we just got those wires plumbed up. Now we're in the process of uh, taking off the old throttle cable so it'll fit. I have a uh, one, a different one. <laughs> this is how man's has to do it. <laughs> just to get a throttle cable bolt off. It's funny. It works though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're gonna put the extended one on um it's a gk tech i believe um don't know the exact model um but yeah we're gonna put it on so that way it's a little bit longer for over here um and yeah we got the wires i didn't have any black electrical clips so we got blues but yeah it's uh looks okay-ish i would like to make it better but we're gonna change out the fuel rail and shit later so ratchet. yeah all right guys so we got part of it done got the intake bolted up we got hoses fucking rerouted got the cool holes rerouted half the vacuum lines rerouted cables extended clips that plugged in we got one more problem blow off valve and uh figuring out a decision on what to do so we could either run it this way and uh figure out a way how to modify the headlight or do a headlight delete something along those lines or we can flip it this way and run it straight down and kind of hide it and then cut another hole in the chassis so we're gonna sleep on it <laughs> and uh try to you know figure out what the best option is for that one but yeah look it sits in <laughs> and it looks so good so so good yeah, it looks beautiful. Looks proper. Looks how it should have came from factory. <laughs> yeah, no. Did an amazing job. Fucking Still. hand. Viewer discretion. <laughs> <laughs> Gore. Yeah, literally. Uh, Fucking yeah. car. Hurt me. But. 
Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, we good. It's, it's a love hate relationship. <laughs> well, stay tuned too. Lots of blood went into this car. <laughs> Man's over here. Give you a little sneak peek for the next video. But uh, that's all you get. You don't. You don't get to know why. We mentioned it. You have to stay tuned and figure out what's going on. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. To, uh, content, cool cars. Yeah. <laughs>